السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس ویلکم ٹو بیولوجی کلاس دس از می می صوفیہ یعقوب فرام اے پی ایس بوائز سال کوٹ ٹوڈے از تھرسڈے تھرٹیتھ اپریل ٹو تھاؤزینڈ اینڈ ٹوینٹی اینڈ اٹس ویک فائیو ایز یو نو آر ٹاپک از سالونگ اے بیولوجیکل پرابلم لیٹس ہیو ار ریک ایپ وی ہیو اسٹڈیڈ اباؤٹ بیولوجیکل میتھڈ اینڈ اٹ اسٹیپس ٹو سالو دا بیولوجیکل پرابلم دین وی سا این ایگزامپل آف ٹیم دیٹ ہاؤ ٹیمس یوزنگ آل دی اسٹیپس سالو دا بیولوجیکل پرابلم Till now, we have studied about recognition, observation, hypothesis, and deduction in detail. Now, we are going to see about the remaining step of the biological method. Our objectives are, students will be able to describe importance of experimentation and describe control in experiment. Do you remember how did Tim do the experiment? He took his parrot out to make him fly. But the question is, why did Tim do that? Tim did the experiment to see whether his hypothesis was correct or not. So experiments are done to check if the hypothesis is correct or not. Experimentation is the basic step of biological method. Experiments are done to prove or disprove the hypothesis. So what does happen next? How do we come to know whether our hypothesis was correct or incorrect? So let's see the answer. If experiments are successful, then the hypothesis is considered correct. If the experiments are unsuccessful, then the hypothesis are considered incorrect. The correct hypothesis are considered proved and incorrect hypothesis are rejected. So there is a question for you. If Tim's parrot did not fly, then what would have happened to Tim's hypothesis? Just recall the example we studied in previous video. Now you can solve biological problem on your own. You just need to follow the step of biological method. And yeah, wanting more. While doing the experiment, keep it in your mind that it should be a controlled experiment. Hmm, but the question is, what is control in experiment? Have you heard about this before? No? Okay, let's study about it. Control experiment is the type of experiment in which scientists take two groups. The first group is experimental group and the second one is control group. Both are treated same except for one variable that is to be tested. Isn't it quite difficult to understand? So let's understand it with an easy example. One day, Tim was playing in the garden. He saw a man watering the plant. Then a question came in his mind. And what if we don't water the plant? To check that, Tim decided to do an experiment. Tim took two plants and provided them with the same amount of light, air and soil. But to, but to check the necessity of water, he watered just plant B. After two weeks, Tim observed that plant B flourished well as he watered it regularly. But plant A was wilting as he was not watering plant A. In this experiment, plant A was control group and plant B was experimental group. Both of them were the ex same except for one variable that is water. So to get the result, we can compare both of these groups. So it is proved from this experiment that the plants need water to grow. I have a question for you. If you need to check the effect of tea on mine before study, then how will you design your experiment? Just think about it and give me the answer. Recap. First we studied about experimentation. It is the basic step of biological method. It is an important step as it is done to check whether the hypothesis was correct or incorrect. Then we studied control in experiment with an interesting example. Hopefully you understood. The assignment question is what is control in experiment? You can find the answer in this video. So watch it carefully. And do not forget to give the example.